Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Something I've discussed about in the past are the different tribes of data scientists. I've written about this on my blog, thedatascientist.com, and I've also discussed this very topic in my book, The Decision Maker's Handbook to Data Science. And it's also something I discussed during my workshops. So what do I mean when I say that there are different tribes of data scientists? So for those of you who don't come from a data science background, something important to know is that data science doesn't really exist that much as a term. It's something that was, as a term, it started to get used quite recently, let's say 10 or 15 years ago when the term big data also became a thing. So there have been many schools of thought over the decades as to how data should be analyzed, as to how we can create artificial intelligence. And these different schools of thought came from like different universities and different companies, but they were really all over the place. There was no coherent theoretical framework or term to group all of this together in one place. So at some point, big data became a thing. I mean, obviously the reasons are many. The internet, cheap computational power, cheap storage, all that. And this became a thing. And suddenly everyone realized that, hey, data science, you know, is, is something valuable. I mean, not data science per se, but all these different methods that have been devised across, actually let's say the centuries, in order to analyze data. However, if you go through the full history of the field, you'll see that there are so many different opinions and methods. So one, one school of thought is the school of statistics. Yeah, so statistics is a discipline that has been around for, I don't know, like probably like 200 years now and is much different to machine learning, even if they have their similarities. And other fields of thoughts are computational intelligence. There's also uh, another school of thought was, you know, neural networks, as they called them in, in the 90s. Now neural networks are considered a part of machine learning. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that the whole history of those disciplines can seem quite complicated and convoluted. So when selling services in this area, it was really difficult to explain you know, what it is that you do and, you know, how, what are the differences between statistical methodology and the machine learning methodology, etc. So the term data science uh, started to get used more and more often as a way to basically say, hey, you know, I do stuff with data. I don't have to get into the details as to what tools I'm using, uh, what techniques I'm using, how I'm thinking about data. I just do valuable stuff with data. Yeah. However, there are some fundamental differences between data scientists. So I'd say we can group data scientists in three major tribes, as I like to call them. So one tribe are the statisticians who have been around the longest. Yeah, I mean, the, the first statistics department was created in the early 20th century in um, UCL at four places. So, you know, there, there are some figures associated with this early history of statistics like Pearson, or Neyman and, and Fisher. And uh, statistics has a strong focus on transparency, on being methodologically sound, on really understanding your data and the associations between different variables. And people who study statistics, they go to statistics departments, they're trained as mathematicians, and it's a very particular school of thought and tradition. Machine learning, on the other hand, and related fields like deep learning, neural networks, all those things, and they were born out of computer science departments. Yeah, they were born out of computer science departments. 
And there are like differences in how computer scientists approach data analysis compared to statisticians. So machine learning people are not so much focused on interpreting the models, but they're mostly focused on predictive power. They're focused on building models which, even if they're complicated, they work very, very well. And this can be a very, very important uh, factor when you choose whom to hire. So if you care about understanding your data in depth, or if you want to, you know, perform maybe experiments like A-B testing or anything of that sort, maybe a statistician could offer more knowledge than a machine learning person. Whereas machine learning people are better when you care about things like building predictive models. So these are the two major categories, but I argue that there's also a third tribe and these are the people who studied some other discipline, maybe physics or chemistry, and they decided to become data scientists later on because they just, you know, figured out it's easier to get a job. <laughs> and uh, you get an interesting blend of people in those cases. You may get some very smart people who lack the fundamentals, fundamental knowledge about statistics or machine learning, which is an interesting group but it's something you encounter in the marketplace very, very often. So it's important to understand that all these differences in different schools of thought and the differences in, in training mean that there's no data scientist that, you know, data scientists must be very different to each other. You know, there's no archetypal data scientist where, you know, you can just hire this person and everything's going to be all right and that's the end of it. So you need to be very careful there. I talk, explain more about this on my book and on my blog, but in the end of the day, it's about finding the person whose skills best align with your requirements, which is not always an easy thing to do, obviously. Something really positive that has taken place in the last few years is that there are some university programs, I think in UCL and King's College are two that come to London in the UK that uh, started handing out degrees in data science and they use a blend of courses from both a machine learning curriculum and computer science curriculum as well as statistics. So someone who goes through a course like this, they will be trained in both machine learning and statistics. And I also run my own data science school in London for software developers who want to become data scientists or other professionals from hard sciences who want to become data scientists, and I take a similar approach. So my personal opinion on this subject and where I believe data science education should go to is that we need to just get the best tools from any school of thought, you know? So it doesn't matter whether, you know, a method is was created from the discipline of statistics or if a method was created, you know, by machine learning or AI research department, what matters is whether we can get the job done. And so this is what's the most important thing for me, in my opinion. And I'm really happy to see that some universities have started to take this direction. And as I mentioned, that's the direction also using in data list. Yeah, my school for data scientists. So anyway, that's a very long topic like the topic of what curriculum should the data science course include and how to hire the best person. But I hope that at least I made you somewhat more aware of uh, the different tribes of data scientists that are out there. And I hopefully I also made you a bit uh, more skeptical of the claims that some data scientists might make about themselves. You know, be very careful when, when, when you hire. Make sure this person actually they have the right skills. So anyway, please visit my blog, thedatascientist.com, if you're interested to read more about this subject, or check out my next workshop at tesseract.academy. This is Tesseract with a double S, where I explain more about these topics. So thank you for being here with me, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.